It should be noted that following Uganda's independence in 1962, Buganda Kingdom was abolished by Uganda's first Prime Minister Milton Obote in 1966, declaring Uganda a republic. Following years of disturbance under Obote and dictator Idi Amin, as, as well as several years of internal division among the ruling National Resistance Movement Party since 1986, President Museveni officially restored Buganda Kingdom in 1993. <laughs> With King Ronald Muwenda Mtebi II, the 36th Kabaka of Buganda on the throne up to date. The president made the remarks while addressing a section of the Buganda clan heads, the Bataka, at State House in Tebe on Wednesday, led by the Prime Minister for Information, Technology and National Guidance, OHT wa Joyce Nabosa Sebugwao. The president recalled the meeting he had in August 1981 with Prince Ronald Mutevi then with the late Professor Lule and they had agreed to restore Uganda's status like it was before the 1966 crisis. The president who boosted as a promoter of good cultures gave an example of the people in Ankole who ended up getting lost after deviating from the new modern cultures. The Minister of State for ICT Joyce Nabosa Sebugwawo thanked the president for meeting the clan heads of Uganda, say, saying it will go a long way in mending the relationship between Mengo and him after 30 years. Omtaka Nachigoye of Chinyomo clan, Nabimba Lukabia Samson, who hails from Chasa in Chanamka Kabudu, thanked the president for inviting them for a discussion. He, however, expressed dismay over dismissal of, uh, of about 85% of their land in Chasa by the National Forestry Authority, yet the land initially belonged to the Chinyomo clan and asked the president to intervene. Omtaka Walusimbi Mbirozancha, the head of the Fumbe clan, thanked the president for the peace not only in Uganda but also in the region. He reminded him of his message to the Somali National Army recently, saying only a peace country can develop. His Excellency promised to look for $2.5 million in the July financial year and buy land for them. OHT Wasewava Serubidi hailed the president for standing firm against immoral acts such as homosexuality and promised him support. He also thanked him for fighting COVID-19 pandemic out of Uganda and his endless message against HIV AIDS. President Museveni has on several occasions urged cultural and religious leaders to instill more among Ugandans, saying it is the only way the country and citizens can benefit from the contributions of both institutions. Grace Nab Kenya, live at 8.